two that I think we we need to have a discussion about. Again, you, you you've talked about African spirituality. Mm -hmm. uh, with person, divinity, and nature, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Chukaniri Kamalu mm -hmm. identifies five elements that our ancestors identified that make up a human being. Mm -hmm. And why that is an important discussion that we need to be having when it comes to traditional African spirituality. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when you think of a human being, what makes you you? Well, if you listen to people like uh, the French philosopher René Descartes, he said mind and body. When we then look at from traditional African perspectives, you've got this idea that human beings could be made up of uh, more than just mind and body. And they've given names and concepts to what these different entities that make up a human being are. Mm -hmm. And inspired by this, uh, Professor Naeem Akbar wrote mm -hmm. a book called The Community of Self. Mm -hmm. And the idea that you are made up of more than one element. And these elements, we could look at them as spiritual elements, or we could look at them as psychological elements. Mm -hmm. And again, it shows the sophisticated thought processes behind the way our ancestors thought of what makes up a human being. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, we, we, we definitely um, um, will go into that you know uh in in depth because um it's 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 basic and and it 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 goes all the way back again to to to, to Kemet and but let's just say now valley civilizations um mm -hmm. in terms of an understanding of shall we say mind and yeah. and we're gonna, we're gonna have to define mind in two different ways uh, a mind with a big M, uh, capital uh, M I N D, and mm -hmm. then a mind with a small uh, M I N D, and mm -hmm. mind with a small M I N D is 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 what um, uh, can be considered the psyche, and and, and yeah. this, this is what Western psychology, um, you know, uh, 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 going back to to Freud and and Jung and all these people, this is what they were they were talking about. Be, be, mm -hmm. Because they had no understanding of of big mind, because big mm -hmm. mind is really, is really spirit or consciousness, shall we say, consciousness yeah. that is conscious of itself. Mm -hmm. yep, so the, they knew only the psychological factors, and those mm -hmm. psychological factors really, you know, have a lot to do with your perceptive ability, um, mm -hmm. um, um, your identity as 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 a mind body complex mm -hmm. that I just mentioned, um, mm -hmm. you know. Who am I? I am my mind, and and I'm this physical self. So mm -hmm. that's where my information comes from, the five senses, uh, and, and nowhere else. Um, mm -hmm. Because that's all that I identify with. So mm -hmm. so we have we have the, the intelligence. We 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 have the ego, um, mm -hmm. which, which, which grasps at, at everything in terms of sensory input. We have the sensory input through our perceptive apparatus. And that mm -hmm. then is, is, is mind, and that was considered to be the person <laughs> in, mm -hmm. in the body. <laughs> you yeah. know, the, the body was there uh, for the sensory information uh, 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 to come in. The mind is there uh, um, to, to deal with the information in, in whatever mm -hmm. way, way the ego wants. And then the ego decides what to do in terms of activity mm -hmm. of the body. And, and mm -hmm. that's uh, the understanding of the human being. You know, mm -hmm. um, of course, an understanding of a human persona, but it's not a full understanding of the human being. You, you mm -hmm. see, and, and but that's a European understanding of the self, and it's purely materialistic because the body is a materialistic entity that brings yeah. material information through the five senses, and that's mm -hmm. as far as 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 European understanding went. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That gave birth to to, to scientific materialism. And it gave birth yeah. to, to philosophy. And, and, mm -hmm. and you know, all, all philosophy means uh, really is playing with different ideas from that psyche, psyche or mind. Uh, yeah. um, there, there's nothing original uh, in, in terms of its, its creative ability. It can only mm -hmm. deal with modification of things that, that they identify, you know, from nature. 
Mm-hmm. And, and therefore, that's that's what uh, has happened through this 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 whole period of of um, you know um, science taking over from religion, you know, going mm-hmm. through the Middle Ages and and and, and coming uh, forward. So so, mm-hmm. so we have a civilization based on scientific materialism, which really mm-hmm. has to do with a mind body complex and has nothing to do with the full person, which yeah. is different from the African perspective, which it's big mind, uh, you, mm-hmm. you know, which, which includes spirit. A spirit yeah. is big mind. Mm-hmm. And spirit is what connects us to source, um, mm-hmm. which, which is divinity. So we are mm-hmm. manifestations, manifestations of, of, of divinity. Of course, mm-hmm. you know, nowadays, you know, uh, quantum physics has, has called that the unified field. Well, you can call it God or you can call it the unified field. You can call it the primeval new. You know, whatever yeah. your word is, you can call it the Akashic field. I mean, different mm-hmm. civilizations over time have had different words for it. But, but quotes, we've all known about it except for your, the, the European perspective. They just they mm-hmm. just found it at the birth of quantum physics. <laughs> you know, before that, you, you know, um, um, you know, Einstein understood something about energy and matter, but he didn't understand mm-hmm. anything about consciousness. He thought the manifestation mm-hmm. of consciousness was spooky stuff at a distance, which he couldn't understand. So, mm-hmm. you, know, you know, one of their most brilliant minds, or one of the most brilliant minds ever within that that that, that cage of scientific materialism could not mm-hmm. understand, you know, what consciousness was doing uh, and that consciousness was primary. And then took all of this other stuff, um, uh, you know, for that to happen. But this has been part of, of the understanding of African people and, and not just an understanding intellectually, but an experience. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You see, it, it's there as an experience of your spiritual nature and your spiritual self. The understanding... Mm-hmm. Again, you, you know, God and nature first made us what we are, and then out of our own creative genius, we make ourselves what we want to be. That link, you know, as you're talking about, between, you know, divinity, person, and, and, and nature. Yeah. This, this mm-hmm. is primordial in, mm-hmm. in, in African understanding, uh, going back again to our earlier civilizations. And all across Africa, you'll find it. And you know, as you, you mentioned, you know, you mentioned Mabiti and, and others, and the Sindima, uh, as as well as you know, um, uh, Kamalu is his name. Yes, that's uh, right. As, as well as as, as Kamalu uh, and others have identified this in in all of the different um, nations or entities, shall we say, uh, within Africa, from the Dogon to the to the to the Bantu, and 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 on and on. So, so we 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 understand, you know, mind from the perspective of big mind. Now, what uh-huh. big mind is is, uh-huh. is is the spirit that manifests itself um, um, uh, through the functionality of little mind, if you if you will. Uh, but it's, uh-huh. it's little mind that is not conditioned because little mind is conditioned, you, you know, uh-huh. by belief systems. Um, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, by your by your your rituals and and by your your educational process in terms of your knowledge base. This is mm-hmm. all within little mind. Mm-hmm. It, it's facts, but mm-hmm. it's not wisdom, uh, and that's why Europe doesn't really have a philosophy. They, they if you look, philosophy is the love of wisdom. Well, maybe they love wisdom, but they don't have wisdom. If you know what I'm saying. Um, if they, they, if they mm-hmm. have an intellectual argumentation, um, you know that is that is Socratic and doesn't lead anywhere. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Dialectic, uh, you know, they have discussions on that, that. What if and I believe and I think uh, as opposed to what you think and what you believe, and you go around in circles because you cannot come to a conclusion because a conclusion means certainty. Certainty can mm-hmm. come from experience. Uh, you, mm-hmm. you know. Um, 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 uh, you know, I, I have eaten an apple. I know what an apple tastes like. I'm certain about it because I've had that experience. But if you mm-hmm. haven't had experience, you can say, well, what is that? That's an apple and it's red and it's sweet and blah, 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 blah. And you can talk about it infinitely. About yeah, the yeah, characteristics yeah. and the facts. But until you experience eating the apple, you can't say that I know what an apple is. And And that's the difference, I think, between you know, the, the, the African uh, spirituality and, and the religiosity 
of of of, of these other religions that have been, uh, shall we say, reshaping the African understanding uh, of self. And and um, uh, you know, the, the, and we have to understand the difference between uh, big mind and little mind because big mind then uses little mind to function with, but it's little mind that is not conditioned, you know, by mm -hmm. the, the, that knowledge base that is out there, but can use that knowledge base because it has a wider perspective in terms mm -hmm. of understanding. And because also it gathers information um, uh, from beyond the five senses. And this is something that our scholars have not gotten into. But of course, it's happening, it's happening now a lot um, uh, here in, in, in the West. Uh, in the, people are beginning to understand about you know, our, our, our clairvoyance and, and, and experiences outside the body and all of these things. But all of that is already, um, you know, within African spirituality. And, and, and for example, voodoo, uh, you know, uh, and it, 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 it's a way uh, to influence the psyche or the mind uh, uh, mm -hmm. through uh, spirit and vibrations and so on. And, and, and you know how much, uh, um, how much understanding you can get through, you know, non-sensory perception. You can walk into a room and, and sense the feeling that is going on in the room. You That's can very meet true. A person. You can meet a person and, and, and your spirit can take him. <laughs> or your mm -hmm. spirit says, no, that, you know, that, 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 that person is not somebody you want to associate with. Mm -hmm. But we don't identify those things as, 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 as faculties that we have and maximize those faculties. Some Africans do, and that's, and, and they are the, the, the spiritual masters, shall we say, in, in our tradition. I'm talking too much, too much. Uh, jump in. <laughs> All right, also, can I just jump in one more thing to, as well, Please. sir? I think the, another thing that needs to be said about traditional African belief systems mm -hmm. is their ability to reproduce themselves and put systems and structures in place to raise children especially the transition from uh, child to adulthood and the rituals that are in place mm -hmm. to turn a child into an adult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The kind of thing that happens between the ages of, say, 10 and 15 in traditional African societies, mm -hmm. where um, the spirituality and the, the customs would then be used to initiate boys into manhood and girls into uh, our womanhood mm -hmm. and how that enables a community to reproduce itself and the importance a lot of these things that have been lost in the west because there isn't with the exception of uh, the jewish bar mitzvah and bat mitzvah mm -hmm. uh, a lot of um uh western tradition doesn't really have the kind of boy to manhood girl to womanhood thing and the traditional african systems uh this is something that i've specifically researched um have very very detailed uh programs to turn boys into men and girls into women greetings my name is robin walker i'm also known as the black history man i am perhaps best known for my 2006 book, When We Ruled. Based on this book, I'm launching a new online history course aimed at you, the adults. You could be a parent, you could be a teacher, a mechanic, cleaner, professionals, care workers, security guards, taxi drivers, kitchen workers, entrepreneurs, tech heads, lawyers, all of you. We want people from all over the world to be empowered by our content. We want you to gain mastery over your history and heritage. And you can do this by subscribing to our course. Click on the link to get this powerful, life-changing material. Yeah, I think that's definitely uh, uh, lacking uh, uh, because, you know, it, it's quite obvious that there are stages to life. Now, yeah. you know, there's baby, there's childhood, you, you know, there's the teenage, um, you know, then there's adulthood, and then there's old age, and all of these are transitions. 
and, mm -hmm. and one has to know um, um, how to make these traditions. And you know uh, uh, by learning from people who have made these transitions before. And you certainly mm -hmm. know if it, if it is a part of, of the tradition of your culture. And, and yeah. you say we have, we have lost that because it's not a part of, of Western uh, culture. And, 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 and it has been taken away from us, uh, uh, essentially. Uh, and, 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 and nowadays, you know, old people are considered to be passé because yeah. the society is not only based on individualism, but it's based on technology. And the old folks yeah. know the most recent technology. The most recent technology is known by the youngest people. You know, they're five years old and they can take up the cell phone and do whatever it is. So what the heck do we need grandpa for? Grandpa is, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, he's a troglodyte. Uh, but he has accumulated the wisdom of whatever, 80 years, 70 years, and so on and mm -hmm. so forth. So it's a civilization that's, that's defeating itself. It's a technological civilization, an industrial civilization. But mm -hmm. as my father said, <laughs> you know, it's doomed to fail because it has no spiritual essence. It has no values. And, and it's a total uh, immoral uh, civilization. So it's collapsing as we speak. And, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and, 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 and that manifests itself in, in so many ways, and, and, you know, that you, you don't even want to go there. Uh, and, and, and in terms of, you know, young people, 12, 13, 14, being sexually active and, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, teenagers, you know, with drug abuse, um, committing suicides and what have you. And, you know, just to speak to that age group that you're talking about, that, that the, the, the don't have any training. At, at best, that they, they, they go to school and learn X. But who is responsible for X what they learn? They learn Absolutely. what society wants them to learn, which, which is to, to, to buy, go to the mall and buy stuff. And, you know, and, and, and you want to work hard enough to be able to buy as, as much as you want. And I, all I, I, I the so. has been removed. That's my last point here before you take over. Mm -hmm. and, you know, all parental control has been removed. You can't discipline your child. If you do, mm -hmm. police, even if your child reports it to the teacher or the police, they'll come and yeah. put you in jail. I mean, that's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and the reason I'm bringing this up is mm -hmm. because when it comes to traditional African belief systems, mm -hmm. this is where they have superior value. And it's not value that is ancient. It's not value that is medieval. This is value that is useful now. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if you were to put a lot of our young urban uh, people through such a system, Right now, if you were to do it in London, if you were to do it in Kingston, if you were to do it in Atlanta. As a thank you for visiting our website, we are giving you a free copy of our exclusive 100 Black History Facts, which is in fact a taster of our course content. Make sure you leave your email address and we will send it right to you. We hope it inspires you to dig deeper into your history and heritage. The, the, the quality of young men and women that we could produce through such a system, mm -hmm. our crime rate, rates would drop, mm -hmm. gang activity, we could, we could stamp out, do you see? And these are the enduring values. But if people think that traditional African religion has no value, we're not going to probe it for value for how these ideas can be used right now Mm -hmm. to address certain sociological problems mm -hmm. right now, the way that they were addressed back in the day. And so I'm saying that these religious and spiritual traditions have current usage. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And that's one of the things that, that we have to do is reformat um, um, those values and that understanding um, um, in terms of contemporary terms, so that young people can understand it and, and be <laughs> not only a, a attracted to it, but allow themselves to be disciplined uh, uh, by it, because it's the, it's the only way. It, it's the only way out. Um, uh, I think, as as you mentioned, um, you know, we need to go into the the identity of the person um, uh -huh. uh, um, in, in depth. And we'll do that next time in terms of the different components of our personality. And, mm -hmm. and what it is, they're different components. Um, um, they don't stand up, uh, alone. 
but but mm -hmm. the different components of one of one unity and what one yeah. entity. And, and and definitely we'll we'll get into that uh, next time and 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 mm -hmm. we have to move towards you know, you know how then do we manifest this as you're saying um mm -hmm. um, um uh, I, I, I don't. I, I don't want to use the word so much ritual because um, ritual um, to me, you know, has a little bit of a negative meaning, and, mm -hmm. and not just in terms of African ritual, but in terms of any ritual, um, yeah. because ritual very often becomes a substitute for the real thing. Uh, you know, yeah. the real thing may have started out, and it becomes dogma, and it becomes ritual, and then you don't understand the essence. But but mm -hmm. what we're talking about is the essence of. Of, of, of a spiritual identity and, and then all that functions on a, a material uh, a plane on an everyday uh, everyday uh, basis in, in, in terms of education, in terms of religion, in terms of uh, 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 economics and in terms of politics. I, I think mm -hmm. that kind of thing, you know, has to be made, made, made plain because one derives from the other and, and mm -hmm. spirit drives mind and mind drives matter. And and, mm -hmm. and and that's what we're we're talking about to to manifest that African person. You know, I think um, you know, Kwame Nkrumah was was looking for that 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 African personality which he was trying to create with his conscientism. I don't think he got there. Um, I, I think my dad uh, before him was talking about the African mind and 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 African spirituality, and mm -hmm. and I think he was more on on target. But um, it certainly, you know, um, this is 100 years later, and, and we, we need to update whatever uh, in terms of our understanding. So I look forward to that. Last words? No, no, thank you, sir. It's been a very, very, a very, very fruitful discussion. I've enjoyed it myself. Always with you, Robin. Thanks. Until uh, next big time. Big respect, sir. All right. Have Peace a good one. Blessing.